Alright, welcome back to more Meta Nightmare Ultra. I'm trying- I'm seriously just trying not to punch myself in the- in the foot. I basically shot myself in the foot when I started playing this game. I basically shoot myself in the foot every time I- I play any game. I gotta leave like a disclaimer at like some- on some games that I just- I don't know. I guess I'm like- I'm too stubborn. Because the, the problem with me is that I like to finish my games. You know, and that just made me realize I hadn't- I haven't even finished- Whatever. Whatever, I'm- I, I gotta play it at- I gotta replay it at some point anyways. Cause I kind of- I think I sort of screwed up? Oh fuck. I don't remember how this goes. Am I going the right way? Jeez, I don't remember if I'm even- Oh no, I did! Hooray! I'm gonna heal again. I'm gonna heal one more time, because we have to fight the fucking fatty whale. I'm stubborn. I wanna- I wanna finish games so there's like, nice, satisfying conclusions to them. I said I would show off all the content in this game, although I think I'm going to not do that. Like, I think... I'm gonna try the arena, like, one or two more times on- on- Capture, for sure. And if I can't beat it, I'm just gonna fucking end the series right there, cuz... I'm- I'm not a fa I've never been a fan of boss gauntlets. Like, I've never been a single fan of boss gauntlets. I always thought they were, like, cheap cop-outs for, like, adding extra content to your game. Um, okay. What's next? Cuz that took me... What- what next? Sky High, I think this is the one? I don't remember. I'm going to heal soon. I hit a button on my keyboard. And I can't even escape from that. And I'm pressing- That's the problem with this, like... I think in Planet Robobot they fix this mode by making a- Making healing and calling a friend a button press. But here you- You have to use your touchscreen. Cause that's what I've noticed, like, the 3DS uses a lot of- Okay, well, I, mean, I guess that's kind of the point. Oh shit, I don't remember- I don't remember where to go in this. Okay, I'm just gonna go into doors until I find the right door. Hey, look, the right door. Is this Krako? I think it might be Krako. No, let me enter the door. Oh, it is Krako. Cause, obviously, like, Nintendo consoles are very gimmicky, that's for sure. That's what, like, I've, what I've noticed. Like, the first... Okay. The first two aren't that... aren't that gimmicky, because, like, it was a new platform again, after the 1983 game crash. And, like... <clears throat> basically, it was uncharted waters that Nintendo didn't want to fucking screw up. But it turns out they were successful. They didn't... God damn, I'm gonna die. The point is, is that the Atari severely fucked shit up. Like, I'm... I hate this level, by the way. This is the one where I talk about video game tropes. Fuck. The Atari fucked up everything, essentially. Because everyone thought video games were just a fad in, in the 80s. Because no one was really sure what this new platform and medium was. And, and, it, and I think the issue is that no one- people still don't realize the platform in medium, like... Has it been 50 years? It's been like 30 years. Like 30 years later? I'm gonna go up to this top room, because I want to. Because... Um... Okay, I, I, I'm getting to explaining it, but I just, I'm like having a, I'm drawing a blank. But the point is, is that... Any person could develop a game for Atari, essentially. Which led to this huge influx of shitty games on, like, an already dying console. Which, in turn, made people in incredibly confused on what to buy, because they didn't know- they had no idea what was good. So, 1983 was pretty much the year- Oh, there goes my friend. 1983, I hate Gordos too, by the way. Fuck! Can I call him again? 
There you go. This level is not good for me or anyone. I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. I don't understand what is up with the physics here. I just wanna... I don't wanna be in this level. I don't wanna be in this level. I don't... I really don't. Okay, there you go. Oh, it's the chameleon. Shit, what was I saying? Something... Yeah, every... Everything went shitty in 1983. But Nintendo came up with a system where, like, you needed a seal of approval to essentially publish your game. And that's when, like, people realized, okay, these games are approved by Nintendo. Therefore, they must be good. <coughs> I'm sorry about that, I'm coughing. I'm having, like, dry throaty issues. We're in the cave planet, cool. It's kind of awesome. And that is one of the reasons why, like, Nintendo reigned superior. And then they introduced gimmicks, because the N64 was kind of like a, a new platform into a medium that was never really explored. Three dimensions. And that terrified a lot of developers, because they didn't really know how to basically plan out... They weren't sure if this was going to stick or not. And it, for sure, it, it stuck. A hundred percent. But back then, when it was brand new and people were afraid of the results, they played it safe. Nintendo played it incredibly safe. That's why the N64 controller looks like it requires three hands to play, because the point to it was essentially that, um, shit, you could have two different ways of holding it. One way was to hold it for playing three-dimensional games, like... Mario 64, and... I want that, actually. Why am I ignoring it? I don't know why. I hope this is not a boss. It's not a boss. Cool. One way was to hold it for three dimensions, like Mario 64. Uh... I don't remember... A lot... Wow. Do all the games I have for the N64... Were a lot of them 2D? What the fuck? Because I don't remember only having two, like, three dimensional games that I used the C stick for. I mean, I used the stick for a lot of them, but I don't remember GoldenEye and Mario 64. I'm probably, like... I haven't played my N64 in a while. It's plugged in! I just... I, just, I don't use it. I, the reason I don't use it is because I have a Wii U. I have all the other consoles. Oh, this is why I'm a, why I'm a rock. Wait, is this the end? Is this... I don't remember. Do we fight more? Okay, fuck that. Time to just take it out, because I'm tired of fighting this. I hope I didn't screw myself over. I hope so. Blade Knight, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, fuck. I have, like, I have to defend myself. Like, the reason I'm hesitant on... Oh, fuck! The reason I'm hesitant on playing N64 games on my channel is because the emulators are trash. They are complete trash. Like, 100% trash. And there is a good reason for that, because the N64 emulator was designed for, like, four games in mind. And... Okay, he's fine. They, they were designed for four games in mind. One of them was... Get off of me. One of them was Mario 64, the other was, um, Ocarina of Time. Clearly, Ocarina of Time didn't pan out for me, because you, if you watch that series on my channel, you all, eh, you are all aware that it crashed on me, on the credits. I was just, I was honestly going to download a video of, and have me talk over the credits, but the thing is, I think it would be a little too obvious. I think it would be incredibly obvious. And that's why I didn't do it, because I felt like it was completely unnecessary for me to take someone else's hard-working video that already had like a millions of views. I'm gonna sneeze, but that'll be next time on Kirby, because I don't like taking other people's work and basically saying, are you uh, great, that's, that's great. I wanna get to the door! Come on. 
Okay. Slash. This is exactly like... Is this the Halberd? Is this the Halberd? Next time on Kirby Superstar Ultra. I already know where the door is. I think I already passed it. We're gonna go back down here. See you then!